Hi, I'm Annalise Reed, and I just finished the Spiritual Healing Practitioner course. I started working with Matthew probably about eight months ago. I saw a couple of videos and then started doing some workshops and seminars, and when this Practitioner Healing course came up, it just felt like it was the next step and I had to do it. So I followed Spirit Prompt, um, which is odd for me to say, in my 3D life, I'm a teacher, and I'm a bass player with a symphony orchestra, etc. Um, I do a lot of healing work, energy work, but there's always something missing in the energy work. And the spiritual healing, there's an element to it that's more permanent, and there's a truth to it, with a cap truth with a capital T truth, that is more profound than what I've worked with in the past. And it just felt like that was the next step. So I followed prompts for that. What I found in the course, we had nuts and bolts, um, nuts and bolts tools, put it that way, nuts and bolts tools to actually use that were extremely effective um, from the cards and the RIP app and the tools to keep us, you know, centered and, and moving. And the it was profound having not only the training, but also having a group of people working together doing the same prayer work, which I've never experienced prayer work or healing work that was quite as profound because we all knew, learned, and knew, found out, learned how to pray, how to focus, how to focus on God, how to focus on truth with, with a capital T. Um, we joined we, we formed prayer groups within the within the practitioners that we could go to each other for support and multiple people doing the same prayer or praying everyone has a little bit different nuance to it it was a lot more profound than just me praying by myself and not that I'm praying by myself because I always have support but just having additional people to talk to and to be supportive. That was a big part of the program. And also the changes in people's lives through the practitioner training within relationships and jobs and approaches to jobs and how to approach, um, you know, 3D realities that popped up or maybe not realities, but things we saw with our five senses and how to just approach the issues we all deal with in a different way. Um, taking it back to God and taking it back to spirit and taking it back to truth, which is way more profound. So I feel like I have a lot more tools in my tool belt and I feel a lot more centered in how to approach things in my daily life and then how to approach healing. And I work with a healing group and we get together every week, we do healing work. And the healing now is way more profound. It's not like, oh, I have a hurt knee or I wanna work with the trauma, but I'm gonna keep working, talking about the trauma for week after week after week. It's like, no, let's bring it back to, to source and let's, let's approach it differently. Um, yeah, and I, it was profound to hear what other people were saying and the changes in their lives throughout the course. How do you prepare for this course? Um, there's a lot of listening, but just follow prompts. And what I did was I followed spirit prompts and I just, it's like a thread or the next, the next, um, like you're given a path and you just have to follow the path and get, learn how to get quiet and listen and follow. And maybe, I don't know if I spent enough time. I probably did because it's all works exactly as it's supposed to time preparing for it except I learned how to get a little bit quieter and a little bit less reactive so that was part of me just start to watch what I would have done differently was I would have watched sooner before the class how I was reacting instead of responding and then thinking about actual truth um, biggest breakthrough I think the biggest breakthrough was noticing um, I had a change in how I, again, I didn't react. I learned to react less and respond more, but I caught my reactions faster. And I was able to see what the big picture was. And I was able to focus on 
God and source and not on the five senses and 3D reality. And I think the biggest part was watching other people. Actually, the biggest part, honestly, was I watched these videos and I thought, well, some people are having instant responses and instant healings. And I thought, well, that's for them. That's not for me. And changing that we're all part of the same source. We're all part of, you know, a facet of God and we're all connected to the same source. We're all connected to God. And why not me? You know? And why not thinking it's out there? Nothing's out there. It's all within. So I think that was my biggest breakthrough. So if you feel prompted, you know, follow, follow, follow the prompts and where you're headed.